Always wash your hands, always. Be in a constant state of washing your hands. I'm washing my hands right now. Hey everybody, Trace here for D News. Simple question, do you wash your hands after using a public bathroom? Because if you're like the American adults surveyed in 2010, 96% of you said yes, which means 6% of you are liars. That's according to a 2013 Michigan State study published in the Journal of Environmental Health. Go green. To be fair, you can't expect people to self-report accurately, especially if it's on something like hand washing, where we all feel the pressure to be hygienic. And a 90% wash rate is still pretty darn spiffy, but the bigger question is, how many people wash their hands correctly? That's the real answer that the Michigan State SETI was searching for. To find it, they had a dozen research assistants post up in bathrooms across Lansing and take notes. The assistants were trained in the art of stealth so as to not draw suspicion. They watched over 3,700 bathroom goers and organized their results by gender, age, time of day, bathroom cleanliness, hand dryer availability, time spent washing, sink type, pretty much every variable you can think of. According to their findings, 10% of people didn't wash their hands, 23% of people just wet their hands and called it a day, and 67% of people used soap. But here's the thing, just using soap isn't enough. The goal here is to kill bacteria, and to do that, you've got to give your hands a good long scrub. The researchers found only 5% of people, 5, washed their hands with soap for 15 seconds or longer. If 15 seconds sounds like overkill, the Centers for Disease Control actually recommends scrubbing for 20 seconds, and their guidelines for safe washing encourage you to hum happy birthday from beginning to end twice, as though that tune wasn't agonizing enough once a year. But to reiterate, only 5% of people wash their hands correctly using this one weird trick. That trick is using soap. Why soap? Because of its unique properties. A soap molecule looks like a snake. The head is a carboxylate that loves water, and the tail is a hydrocarbon chain that hates water. When these molecules are mixed with H2O, they form little structures called micelles, with the heads on the exterior and the tails inside, kind of like circling the wagons. Like most things in nature, they are polar. They carry an electrical charge. Since they're all negatively charged, the micelles repel each other, distributing throughout the water. When the micelles come in contact with grease and oil, the hydrocarbon part on the inside grabs the oil, trapping it and lifting it off your skin, suspending it in the water so it can be washed away. This behavior allows you to scrub the microbes under the dirt into oblivion. And it's also why alcoholic hand sanitizers aren't as effective at killing germs on dirty and greasy hands. You may be tempted to then splurge for antibacterial soap, but though it sounds good, that's actually the worst idea. The key ingredient, triclosan, does kill 99% of bacteria. But 42 years of FDA research has shown that it is not much more effective at killing harmful bacteria than regular old soap and friction. And a side effect of the unnecessary overuse of antibacterial triclosan is bacteria have adapted to be resistant to it. Thus, there's no way to kill those superbugs effectively when we need to. Like when people get sick from diseases that could have been prevented by washing hands in the first place. 31% of diarrhea cases and 21% of respiratory illnesses like colds can be avoided with just some scrubbing. See, washing your hands is a win against harmful bacteria on every level, and it feels good. Just remember, stick to regular soap, give your hands a nice long scrub, and don't forget to get under the fingernails when most of the microbes live. Now, if you want to tell people how to wash their hands more effectively, you could probably start a website, and no domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. And because you watch DNews, you can get 15% off domain.com's names and web hosting by using the code DNews when you check out. You may be freaked out about germs, but that's because you're lacking in civic pride. I have more about your city's microbes here. Similarities across all cities, proteobacteria, firmicutes, and actinobacteria were the three dominant phyla everywhere, but each city's exact composition was so precise, it was like a bacterial fingerprint. Go local spores team. Do you scrub enough or do you live life on the edge? Let us know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so you get more D news every day and I will see you next time.